everybody, today I am going to be reviewing the short underbust corset made by Timeless Trends. So here is the front, the side, the back, and the other side. The center front of this corset is 8 inches high and along the uh, side front or the side seam is about 6.5 inches high. So this corset is between 3 to 4 inches shorter than their standard length underbust. In terms of the silhouette, you can see that it is extremely slim. This is a size 24 and I can't even get it closed in the back all the way. I still have about an inch or an inch and a half to go. Um, in terms of the circumferential measurements, the waist is size 24, uh, the rib cage here I believe is about 26 and along the bottom edge here right above the iliac crest this is around uh, 27 28 inches about 27 and a half actually when I measured so this is uh, definitely what would be considered their new stock of corsets that are for some reason not as curvy as their old stock and to give you an idea of how the pattern has changed over time this is the standard length underbust corset by timeless trends this is an old stock and the same size still size 24. Um, some of you might remember that I did have the emerald green size 24, but that one went to Phoenix Jody Ray before she passed away. And um, you can see the, the difference in the silhouette here. So you can see that I can still close this one pretty much all the way. Um, the rib cage for this is about 30 and the hips are about 32 inches. So that means that for the standard length underbust, at least the old stock, the rib cage was about 6 inches larger than the waist and the hips are about 8 inches larger than the waist. Because of the silhouette of this corset, if you do not have slim hips to begin with, then I would recommend buying a size up than you would usually get. So instead of buying a corset maybe three to four inches smaller than your waist size, it might fit better if you buy a corset two to three inches smaller than your waist size. And I know that's not very much reduction at all, but this is a type of corset that I would probably use more for uh, fashion, like a, a corset style belt purpose, as opposed to actual waist training. Also, if you have a bit of a longer torso then I would recommend buying a longer corset. If you have any worries about any lower tummy pooch at all then this short corset is not going to cover it because it comes down maybe about two inches below my belly button so it leaves all of this area free. Now I don't have that much of a pooch to worry about but if you do and you need that support then opt for a longer corset. So here's the short corset laying flat and for the materials it's pretty much the same way that they usually uh, have it in Timeless Trends corsets where it has two uh, layers of this cotton twill, um, the lining that you see here and then they have an interlining that is directly fused to the fashion fabric and that's why these corsets typically don't have much wrinkling on the fashion fabrics. Here's a close-up of what the Timeless Trends tag looks like. It has the care information on the back of the tab, a size 24, like I said before, and all Timeless Trends and Black Iris courses are made in Thailand. For the construction of this corset, it's drafted from a six panel pattern, so it has 12 panels total. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, and then this large six panel right here. For the actual construction and assembly, it's the exact same as their usual Timeless Trans way of constructing it, which is using the sandwich method. So you can see that um, the fused uh, fashion fabric and, and interlining make the, the top layer and then the lining make the bottom layer, they stitch in the ditch and they form sandwich boning channels, uh, two channels per seam. And turning to the inside here, you can see the waist tape quite clearly, the outline of the waist tape. It is invisibly secured in between the layers, so it's not exposed on the outside or on the inside. Going through the entire width of the corset, through all panels here, it's one inch wide and by the feel of it, I am guessing it is twill tape. Here's a close-up of the binding. It is made from bias strips of the matching fashion fabric. You can see here, in this case, sand nude, and it's machine stitched on the outside and on the inside here. The second uh, stitch is stitched in the ditch and secures it from the bottom. This corset also has four garter tabs, so two on each side, although this corset is so short that I would probably not recommend wearing garters with it. These short underbust corsets don't come with a modesty panel, nor does it come with a modesty placket in the front here. This is true for their standard underbust and their long line underbust as well. However, all of their overbust corsets do come with a modesty panel in the back, and I have asked them if it would be possible to at least add an option for modesty panels for the underbust in the future, but that has not been implemented yet. 
This busk is only seven inches long with four pins equidistantly spaced, and it is reinforced by another three eighth inch wide flat steel bone on either side of the busk. It is a standard width busk, half an inch on each side, but this maybe because it's so short and maybe also because of this reinforcing bone, it is extremely difficult to bend. Like all their other underbusk corsets, this short corset also has a total of 26 bones, 13 on each side. It's double boned on the seams with quarter inch wide spiral steel bones so you can see two four six eight ten and then twelve uh, these two bones are three eighth inch wide flat steel bones sandwiching the grommets here and then the thirteenth one is the three eighth inch wide flat by the busk here Here's a close-up of the grommets, and there are a total of 20 two-part size zero grommets because it has a bit of a wider hole in here. Um, it has a small flange around it, very narrow flange. Despite this, I've never had a problem with their uh, grommets ever pulling out or tearing away from the fabric, nor have I heard any complaints from anybody else of the grommets pulling out. Here's a close-up of the back of the grommets, and you can see that they've all rolled pretty nicely. There are just a couple of splits here and there, but they don't catch on the laces at all. Um, you can see that the grommets are set very securely into quite a bit of fabric. I would say that is at least four, maybe six layers of fabric in there. Uh, the laces themselves, they are single face satin, so they're not as strong as double face satin ribbon. Um, however, with the light reduction that I'm only achieving in this corset, then it's not much of a problem. It is pretty closely matching to the nude. However, their corsets have different laces depending on the style that you get. So this one has the ribbon. And you can see with my standard length underbust, this one comes with shoelace style laces in the back. So when you're looking at the pictures of the models on the website, make sure you look at the back of the corset so you know what type of laces you'll be getting, and then you'll be able to know whether you need to buy extra laces or not if you don't like ribbon laces or whatnot. The price of this corset is $89 in the US, or if you buy this from timelesstrends.co.uk, it is about £65 in the UK. So that's all for my review of the short Timeless Trends underbust corset. I hope you found this informative. If you did, then go ahead and click that like button and help support the channel. And if you have any comments or questions about this corset or Timeless Trends, Black Iris in general, please feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you as best I can. I will see you after the weekend for the next video. Bye!